Today we are discussing the concept of trumpet momentum. And some of you have seen my Kickstarter campaign for the momentum spinning top and gyroscope. Uh, many of you have asked, well, what's that have to do with trumpets? You're a trumpet designer, a trumpet builder, a trumpet player. Why are you making spinning tops? And some of you are very confused. That's great. Uh, momentum has everything to do with trumpets and everything to do with life. The concept of momentum is pretty simple. You're either gaining momentum or you're losing it. And uh, the tagline in my Kickstarter video is simple. Um, what you want to do is gain momentum. And the way you do that is by reducing drag. Or in other words, focus on the things that are most important. And remove those things that are not working or that are unimportant. And in trumpet, man, I'll tell you, there are a million things that are unimportant on this instrument that a lot of people are putting emphasis on and thinking about on a daily basis. For example, uh, a lot of you want to play a specific type of music or a high note. So I'll play a high note. All right, that's pretty easy to do. Uh, and it's not just because it's a great trumpet or because I've played for a long time. It actually is easy to do. Uh, the reason it's easy for me is because I have gained a lot of momentum in my skills at playing trumpet. Many of you may not realize this, but four years ago, I had to relearn how to play trumpet. And I've been working hard at learning trumpet ever since. In fact, I've been relearning how to build trumpets, uh, how to program my machines, how to do everything. So I lost my entire memory uh, four years ago in May. And because of that, I had to start over from square one. I had to learn how to talk again. I had to learn how to interpret words. I've looked up thousands and thousands of words over the last four years, uh, especially spellings. You know, a lot of things I didn't know. So I've been relearning everything. And what I've really learned out of all of that is that you can gain momentum very quickly by reducing drag. And reducing drag is a simple concept. You need to remove everything from your life that doesn't pertain to your goals. Well, except for a few things of reality. But even there, uh, if reality is getting in your way, you need to find a way to overcome that. Um, a lot of people say, well, I've got this one thing holding me back and I'm not really going to be able to succeed because that one thing is just in the way. For some of you, that one thing is you play on a, a 1983 Bundy trumpet. Who cares? A lot of amazing trumpet players have come from uh, very low places in terms of finances and in terms of equipment and they have played on the worst instruments you've ever seen and excelled and become famous soloists or principals of orchestras. I know this because I know a lot of those people uh, and I myself started on some kind of a coronet, I don't even know the brand, that was loaned to me when I was in grade school and my uh, grade school teacher was also my middle school teacher and then she allowed me to borrow that horn through most of high school. And I didn't get my first nice trumpet until the very end of high school. Um, and in all that time, you know, the instrument didn't matter so much. What really mattered was how much I focused on my goals and how much I removed all of the, the noise and the extraneous uh, thoughts and thought patterns and obsessions that are really unrelated to my goals. So to play a high note, To do that, I need to just focus on what is needed to play a high note. And that, of course, is directly related to the concept of momentum. Now, I'm going to uh, not play a lot of trumpet today, but I'll give you quite a few of these updates over the next few months. I'll be releasing a trumpet momentum book that I'll be writing, uh, or that I've been working on for quite a while now. And uh, I'll also be uh, releasing a book that is Life Momentum. And that's really a book about my life and about how I have gained momentum and almost lost all of it, or seemingly so, and then picked it up and gained it again. And that comes from uh, really working very hard and very focused at achieving my goals while reducing the drag, uh, or in other words, removing all the obstacles in the way. Now, one key point to that is our contact with the world, or in other words, the contact with you as a person and your brain and the way you think and everything around you. To reduce drag, we need to have a very singular 
focused point of contact. And my momentum device really does demonstrate that very well. Let's see if I can get it in view. So it has a very small contact point, uh, which is a pressed either chrome steel ball or a silicon nitrite ball. And that ball is only two millimeters. It's very spherical, very smooth, and that can teach us something about life. If you are very focused on your goals, almost like a very pinpoint, like the, the point of an arrow, then you can wedge your way through all the other BS and extra information that's unneeded and misinformation, and you can focus truly on what your goal is. If my goal is to play a high note, then I'm thinking to myself, what are the physics involved in playing a high note? Well, you need fast airspeed. The fast airspeed will correlate to the pitch or the oscillations. Um, you also need to make your lips vibrate at a high frequency, which goes right along with the airspeed. To do that, you need less air, which is the key. Most people think, man, to play a high note, I need to tank up with a lot of air. In reality, you don't need that. What you need to do to play a high note first is learn how to play a high note. So you need to have a singular contact point. You need to go out into the world and ask the right people the right questions and find out how do you play a high note. And if somebody says to you, well, the way you play a high note is you just imagine the high note and it magically comes out. Then I'll tell you something. You should never pay that person for information ever again. I have received that information or something similar to that uh, probably a hundred times in early in my career as a college student and uh, a little bit after that until one day I decided I'm no longer going to take trumpet lessons because each one of the great trumpet players that I know learned how to play trumpet mostly from themselves. They learned from other people by experiencing, playing with them, watching them, uh, listening. But the truth is if someone tells you that the key to playing a high note or the key to doing XYZ physically is to imagine it, then they're leaving out a lot of information probably because they don't understand it. Physics does hold the keys to a lot of things in uh, musical instruments, especially in brass playing. Physics may not hold the keys to musicality. It may not hold the keys that you need to play changes over chord progression. Uh, it, it doesn't hold the key to everything. But the physicality of playing is represented in physics because we can explain almost everything in the world. Now, I don't say everything. We can't explain everything. But when it comes to playing a high note on the trumpet, we can. Physically, we can explain it. I'm imagining real physics principles. A small opening, very fast air, and a very small amount of air. A very uh, narrow or short lip length vibrating surface and I'm doing all that together so let me get closer I'm doing this and you hear hardly any air how do I do that the low notes require a lot more air so more air volume I open my lips up more and when I want to play high, I close my lips more. The vibrating surface is longer for the low notes and it's shorter for the high notes. And I guarantee you, the concept of momentum teaches us how to find these things quickly and how to learn quickly and how to make those, those new uh, bits of information key components of the way that we react. Uh, all you have to do is put yourself in a meditative state imagine exactly how something should be done and then practice it and do not practice things with all the extra drag in the world you want to gain as much momentum as possible and reduce as much drag as possible those key components will really help all trumpet players and hopefully you've learned something from this right now I'm gonna spend just two minutes showing you the momentum uh, actual uh, device so you can see how that works and then really think about meditating to something that gives you uh, a representation of how this works and it doesn't have to be the momentum device it could be a bird flying in the air it could be uh, a fish swimming in the ocean it could be anything really anything in nature is going to represent the concept of momentum 
Um, so I'll switch over so you can see that. And uh, please leave your comments. I will respond to these. Uh, today's video blog is a little different. Normally I write everything out, but today I'd like to do it in video form. And if you're interested in the Kickstarter campaign I'm running for the Momentum device, um, I will follow up with several more of these videos. And then, of course, there will be two books, one on trumpet and one on life. And uh, if you want to follow our Kickstarter campaign, you can click uh, on the link below. And uh, the Momentum device does start at $25. So thanks for watching, and here comes the next segment.